Hello Shumai and welcome to the beginning of a new series, the King of Beijing in the Chinese Super League with Beijing Guoan. <clears throat> Here is the overview of the team, Beijing Gu Guoan. You'd think I'd have nailed the pronunciation of that before starting the, the series. We have founded in 1992. As you can see, they've been in the Chinese Super League for a long, long time. I think since probably since their inception. They won it in 2009 and since then I've still been doing pretty well. They finished fourth last season. My expectation is mid-table, obviously, with the other Chinese teams spending a lot of money. This put into a bit of perspective. The team has dropped down a little bit. As you can see, the manager is me. Yes, hello, there I am. Captain is Yang Ji, the goalkeeper who has... 292 appearances for Beijing as a stalwart in goals. He's, he's alright, he's average, but he's he's getting worse quickly. We have Yu Dabao as our vice captain, much better player in his position. Um, and our key players, Renato Augusto, we have very little foreign players. You're only allowed three foreign starting players in your team, and this is the best of the bunch for us, Renato Augusto. I was is gonna be our playmaker and hopefully he can make a big difference for us. Obviously, a, a lot of you will know who Renato Augusto is and just how good he is. He's played a lot of games for Leverkusen. He's played at top level for his entire career. So we're very lucky to have him here at the team. If we look at the facilities, we've got a 55,000 capacity stadium, the Workers' Stadium in Beijing. One of the things that attracted me to start the series with this club is that they have good training facilities and adequate youth facilities. A lot of clubs in the Chinese Super League don't have this, not especially the clubs who don't have sorry, the massive amounts of money. Something very interesting about the clubs that I didn't even realise until I started was that we have Real Madrid and Ajax as affiliate clubs. I mean, I was pretty happy with that. So let's take a look at the transfers that we got in. Now the transfer rules are that you cannot bring in more than five players over the age of 21. So... Things were a bit limited because they must have already made the three transfers from before and so we could only bring in two players. The first was Kai Hui Kang, who is he, literally the main reason I brought him in is because of the experience he's got in the Super League. He's played for Shang Gang for a long time. He's played 28 games in the Super League last season, 28 the season before and 30. He's played almost 100 games in the in the Super League. We also brought in Zhen Long, 1.5 million left midfielder. Good player, again, really good player for the Super League. Last season, 27 games, 7 goals as a winger. Fantastic return, really. So I'm hoping he can recreate that with us. I thought I'd also take advantage of the affiliate that we have with Real Madrid. We brought in Alex Fabas on, Febas on loan. Very solid in field, only 20. Going to be quality for the for the Chinese league, I hope, anyway. And we also brought in Wang Zhizhang. Xinjiang. Jian? Xinjiang. This is going to be a fun series with all these names. Yes, I brought him in 1.4 million, definitely one for the future. Loaned him straight back to Yifang. Let's have a look at pre-season. Really didn't go very well. We beat FC Osaka 2-1, Borak Gilmar scoring both goals. Again, he is going to be our, well not again, introduce you to our main man, Borak Gilmar's. Going to be a top goal scorer, I hope, this season. Got good experience in, with, in the Turkish leagues with Galtas, Ryan and Traps won, so... And I'm hoping he can score a lot of goals for us this season. I mean, look at that for finishing, 18 finishing, quality. We lost 1-0 to Beijing, Beijing, a team in the division below, which is a little bit worrying. And we also drew one all with Ren Renhe, who are also in the uh, division below. So not the best of pre-seasons. Today we, play, we face sorry, Yang Bian Feud. Not sure how they're supposed to be going in the in the season. They've recently promoted, but I don't know what what they're expected this season. So let's take a look at the team. I've had a little bit of a problem. The defense is very weak because you have to have at least one under twenty three player in the starting eleven. I did not realize this, and so I've had to promote someone from my youth. And this guy really is not good. He's awful, pretty much. But he has to be played until I can find someone else under the age of 23 to get into my team so that I can put them in the starting 11. You're also only allowed three play three foreign players in the starting 11. Otherwise, Ralph and Alex Fabas Febas would be starting. 
So in goals we have Yang Ji, we've already talked about him, our captain. Then we have Zhao he Hedjin, decent right back. He's got some good experience in this league. And a lot of positions we're going to look at replacing slowly over time. I mean, all of our squad pretty much needs doing. We've got Yegor Krimets, who I have to play at the back. I really don't want to use up one of my foreign players there, but he's on loan from Pakstakor in Uzbekistan. He's our best centre-back. He's the best thing we've got. So he's definitely going to be a starter. Then we have Zhang Yu. Mm, not the best. He's played 21 games for our youth in the second division north. Oh, okay, maybe that's not our youth. That's a youth team anyway. That's all he's ever played. Bit risky putting him in, but I have to because of squad rules. We have Lee Lei then at left back. Decent player, got a little bit of potential about him. I wish he counted as the under 23s. If he was just a few months younger, he would have counted. But no, he's a very decent player. He got a, bit, a potential to improve as well. He's got he's played ten games last season, so I'm quite happy with with him in the left back positions. We've then got Lu Lu Peng, who's again technically our players aren't the best mentally and physically a little bit better. I mean, we signed him from Bay Kong, four point six million, and he's yet to play a game. Apparently, oh, this is one of the players that was brought in. Really, not worth four point six million on on those stats. I can tell you that. Then we we got Kai Hui Kang, who we've already showed you. Decent quality player, gonna be a solid midfielder. Yu Dabao, who, despite only being two and a half stars, has got some pretty decent stats. Thing is, I don't know what to compare. I don't know what's good for this league. I think it's the same with every club in that they've got the few standout players like the Burak Yilmaz, the Renato Augusto. I mean, you've got players like Carlos Tevez, Demba Bar, Nikita Jelovic in this in this league. So I really don't know what I'm looking for in terms of uh, attributes. We've got Renato Augusto. Obviously, everybody knows who he is. Eugene Long, another one, very consistent player. Hopefully, he's gonna be good supply for Burak Yilmaz who is up front. I'm just going to pick out a couple of players from the bench. We've got Yu Yang who would usually be starting but we can't because of the Chinese league rules. We've got Ralph. He's a very good player. Experienced Brazilian player who is, I'd love to have him starting as well as Alex Fabas. Febas. But that's just not going to happen. Uh, as a striker we've got Tang Shi who really not that good as a striker. Again, mentals and physicals, not too bad, but technicals, awful. We really do not have much in this squad. It's a very, very thin squad. I think the only thing that's making me not worry about that too much is the fact... Oh, all these need squad numbers, apparently. Um, what? I cannot give someone a number, apparently. There we go, submit numbers. Thank you. Um, I think everyone else is in the same boat, apart from the teams with the massive money like Guangzhou, Evergrande, and Jiangsu. I don't think there's many other, many teams that have consistent quality throughout their whole team. I mean, what favourites for this game? So I'm hoping, I mean, who have they got? Good. No one I recognise there at all. They look all Asian, which I suppose is a good start. Their foreign players are also Asians. Um, I don't know what to expect from this first game, really. Obviously, a win would be a great start. And I just, I just really don't know what to expect. And I have very, very little knowledge of this league. I, did, I looked at the league table right now, and there's only two games into the season uh, in the Chinese league. Let me sort all this out. There's only, there are only two games into the league. In, um, in the Chinese season at the moment. Sorry, I just started to know my sentence. Yeah, there are only two games into the league in Chinese at the moment, and Beijing have one point after two games. So, like I said, I have very little knowledge. I have very little to talk about in terms of my expectations. Obviously, I need to finish mid-table, otherwise I might get sacked. But, as, as, to be honest, as long as I 
have a comfortable season, nowhere near the relegation zone, I'll be happy. Here over the corner, Zhang Long with the corner with the ball in, and we've scored! I said I didn't really want to put Yago Kermit in as one of my foreign players, but he's got a goal, he's repaid my faith. My faith. Zhen Long was signing with a beautiful corner in, keeper comes right nowhere near it, and Kermit heads it in. Another interesting thing about the Chinese league, oh, there's another highlight, Zhang Wei with a throw in, a Yan Bian, Chi Zon Gu, who in the ball back. Yu Deba wins it and wins it. Yao Shihao. Oh, these names. These names are going to be so annoying to try and talk, to try and say over and over and over again. Because Yu Deba. Renato Augusto. White to Shen Long. And he put a ball in. Barak Ilmazar. Good save from Keeper. Really good save. Yes, another rule. Another highlight. Zhang Wei with the throw in again. Kai Hu Kang. Up to Barak Ilmaz. What can he do with it now? He's got support in the middle. Renato Augusto's there. Shoots. It's the post. How is it only one minute still? Okay, let's grab the highlights. I need to say something. Another interesting thing about the Chinese league is that you're only allowed go Chinese goalkeepers. That's a rule that's in the league. Only Chinese goalkeepers, nothing else. No foreign goalkeepers. That's one place where I need to strengthen the squad where it's going to have to be a Chinese player. I want to get more... Just I want to get the best squad of Chinese players to be honest. I don't want to rely on f too much foreign talent because it just costs a lot of money and the whole point of Chinese investing in this league was to get a good Chinese team. Borak Yilmaz is in a goal and he scores 2-0 the half an hour. Borak Yilmaz his first goal. I mean, you look, I, look, I was looking at pre-season. Great ball through by Yu Dubao and all of our stand-up players in the season have been Kremets, Augusto, Borak Yilmaz, Debas. I mean, all the foreign players. I think a lot of the teams well, I'm foreign players. So I want to get a little bit more Chinese in my team. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of Chinese players in my team, as it is. But I want to get the best Chinese talent. Ronaldo Augusto on the ball now takes a shot. Straight at Chi, Chi Wen Yi. Another chance here. I mean, we could be 4 or 5 nil up at this point. The chances we've had. Been fantastic football. Yu Dubao and Zhen Long. Key players at the moment. And fantastic first halves. We're 2 nil up. Half time is approaching. I've got to say, this first half couldn't have gone much better. As long as he gets half time 2 0, and we do. Fantastic. What a, what a start. Yeah, it looks a lot. You should be at light, but he thought it was a fantastic first, first half performance. And just keep it up in the second half. As I say, Burak Ilmaz were looking to be our main outlet. Zhang Lu. Yeah, Zhang? Zhang Yu. Sorry, the youth player that we had to put in really has now in the best of games. 6.5 rating. We have a corner now. Ronaldo gets to the ball in. Kai Hui Kang. The signings that I've made have been, had a massive impact on this game. And that's really what I've been looking for. Ronaldo gets to in. Kai Hui Kang. Towering had it. Don't know how the player on the post doesn't keep it out. I don't care. We're 3 0 up. We're cruising first game. I think we're going to make some changes in a minute. Yeah, we'll take off Kai Hukang and make sure he doesn't get sent off. Oh, you're not allowed to have three players on at any time. Three foreign players. Well, that is annoying. Okay, we're going to take off Krimets for Yu Yang. And then take off Kai Hukang for Alex Febas. No, we're not going to put Febas on. We are going to put on Ralph. Because he is much better. Oh, he's so good. That's really annoying. You can't. It has to be three players at all time. Here goes Burak Ilmaz. Takes it past one. Really easy. What an awful shot that was. Straight at Chi Wen Yi. Completely. Oh, I don't know what he did then. Seemed to drop the ball. Completely oblivious then. <coughs> the shoot straight at the goalkeeper. 3 0 up there. Cruising. 75th minute. I might. I think I'll bring on Hang Shi. Really not good. Just to see if we're playing well. See if we can't get in the goal, get him some confidence. A striker. It's just anyone under 23, decent enough to play on the team is what we need at the moment. As you can see, everyone's. Even Zhang Yu is playing well. So maybe this has given him a big confidence boost. As we approach the 90th minute, is there going to be one last goal in this game? Can we hold on for a clean sheet? That's the main thing. Here. We're going to have the win. That's guaranteed. 
Can we keep the clean sheet? Jen Long with the ball now. Could we top it off with another goal? No. Kim Sung Dai on the ball. Goalkeeper uh, saves it. Yanji saves. 90th minute now. Surely this is game over. We're going to have to watch the entire 90th minute, it seems. Jen Long with the ball. Loses out to one of their players. Trying to read. By the time I have read one of their names, the ball's already gone. May just do the first name. Hey. Yoon, there we go, Yoon Bitgaram, Chi, out wide to Lee, I mean this is a lot simpler when I only say the first name, I don't know how Chinese names work, maybe one of you in the comments down below can let me know how Chinese names work, there it is, full time whistle, Beijing 3, Yan Bian nil. very nice victory, it's just what we wanted, oh look at that, fantastic, we're top, oh yes, there's one thing, one more thing I wanted to tell you that's really really weird as you can tell Shandong won 6-0 but they're not top of the table why is that because the rules where is it league certain rules results between teams okay that's fair enough ranking in reserve league so the reserve league if I go here can I check mm, no I can't I don't know how to... Chinese reserves group, is that it? Yeah. Goes off this. So if my reserves are playing terrible, that could cost me the season. <sighs> that annoys me, but can't complain at the moment. We've first game done, 3-0. Hope you're going to enjoy this new series. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. If you want to see more on how we get on with our King of Beijing season series, um... Please subscribe. If you have any comments whatsoever, please let me down and let me know down in the comments below. I'll see you again.